How's it going, everybody? The Sidestep TV here. We're back on our... Oh, mobs. Uh, we're back on our Let's Play world. And today, I kind of have a little bit something special planned. So, um, I was down there at our farm, and I was looking at the hay. Or the, uh, the wheat, my bad. And I was like, dang. I should start getting prepared for an Ender Dragon fight. Obviously, we... Uh, still need to go back into the end. Oh my god. Uh, still need to go back into the end and get blaze rods. However, um, I don't see why we can't skillfully prepare right now. So, uh, in order to do that, I need um, some practice, right? So, we need, uh, you know, stuff to make us a better player, a, a pro player, if you will. And I think to do that, uh, obviously we need our target blocks. We need we need target blocks for, um, you know, being able to shoot and that sort of stuff. I think would be pretty, pretty fun. Uh, and we also need a place to actually shoot the target blocks. Uh, do I have any building blocks? What the heck? What is wrong with me? Maybe they're all down in the uh, the mob or the the XP farm. Oh, sure, I'll take some of the deep slate. Uh, I think I can leave that there. Um, probably some of the mossy cobblestone, right? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's take some of these. Some of. Well, I don't have any more room. All right, let's go back up. So I think five target blocks should be enough for this build. I don't, it's not going to be a super big build. Uh, just, you know, something a little bit fun in our world, I think. Um, where do I want to put this though? Maybe I kind of want to put it in the savannah. I feel like this would be a pretty good place for it, but uh, where to actually do that? Not entirely sure. Maybe over here, somewhere around here. That's pretty flat over there. Oh, or we could actually put it, like, right down here. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, th this spot should work out pretty good. It's pretty flat, so we don't have to do, like, too much terrain work around here. Um, I do know I kind of want it to be a bit flatter, so we're going to have to fill in uh, these little bits. And that's a cave. Hello. So we're going to have to flatten this area out, fill this in uh, a little bit, but that shouldn't be too hard now that we have a efficiency for shovel that we got last episode. Alrighty, so after a little bit of time, I was able to get this flattened out, and uh, yeah, our shovel took a little bit of damage, because we don't have an breaking three enchant on it, which kind of sucks, so we need to get these villagers, and there's actually villagers right up there, but we also have villagers over there, so yeah, we need to get uh, a villager trading hall set up eventually. Um, but for right now, that, that mob farm that we have over there for XP will do just fine, I think. Uh, but I'm also carving out a little area right there, as you can see. I think I pointed that out, like, a few episodes ago. Like, maybe the third or fourth episode. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that's for another, another day. Another day, another dollar. Um, so I think, yeah, this area is definitely big enough. So I think I want to have it going this way um, so we can, I guess, just lay it out with cobblestone on how big I want it to be. So we're going to need it fairly large because our arrows can go pretty far, right? Lay this out with cobblestone and there we go. We got the corners. So, so I need to go get some oak wood uh, and I need to make some fences uh because i think i want to line the fences up along here uh and then we're just gonna have like I, I don't even know um we're gonna like stack up these and then maybe have like random target blocks around so we do something like that like 
like this, and we kind of just interesting. <laughs> maybe, maybe we have something like that. I, I, I don't really know. Um, maybe just have them like scattered out, like we have one all the way back here or something like that, and it's just like there. Uh, so we kind of. I mean, I guess we can make like a pretty cool design with it, you know, like we can we can make it look at least a little a little bit like a stone or something. So, yeah, uh, if I had enough gunpowder and I could actually make fireworks, I would definitely put them behind here and we would just have like redstone leading into this block and then the dispenser like right here or something. It, it would be super duper easy redstone. And whenever I hit the target block, then it would actually shoot off a firework. I think that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I have to go ahead and get uh, some more oak wood. And uh, I think I'm actually going to use the axe that we have in here, the uh, the efficiency four axe, um, just so it doesn't take a while. I'm kind of on a time crunch today because I had to get a project done for uh, college. And God, if any of you are in college, you know you know how, how much college work takes to do. Um, I'm not a full-time college student, luckily, <laughs> uh, and the college that I do have is like super duper easy. <laughs> they kind of walk you through it uh, and kind of hold your hand quite a bit, but, uh, you know, it still takes time to do it. It takes a couple hours. I think it took me about three hours maybe to do the um, the assignment that I had. It was a project, so... It was a bit longer than a usual assignment, but, you know, what can you do? Am I right? Uh, but, yeah, so I guess I should ask, how is your guys' this day going? And it, I think, it should be Tuesday whenever this comes out. So, if everything did go according to schedule, which it better of, the, the last video, episode 10... Uh, milestone, by the way, crazy, 10 episodes in, um, that, that episode for some reason did not upload correctly, so I figured out what was wrong, my hard drive apparently was completely full, so it had no room, it, like, it would process a video, but it wouldn't, like, put it on the hard drive, which <laughs> was kind of weird, um, also, we should probably go sleep, I don't know where my house is, oh, this way. Um, but yeah, so the entire video would like process and it processed correctly, but for some reason it just didn't want to, want to uh, like have the full video because the hard drive was full. So I was like, oh, okay, well, fuck me then. Right. So, you know, uh, what can you do? Sometimes that stuff happens, but, uh, now I've cleaned off my hard drive a little bit. I have room for videos, so that shouldn't happen any anymore anymore. Uh, just as long as nothing else happens, this video should be coming out on time. Uh, but going back to the, the original question, hopefully you guys this week is going good. Uh, mine so far, it's, it's Monday, by the way, uh, whenever I'm recording this, I don't really like to date my videos too much, but you know, sometimes you, sometimes you got it. You, sometimes you just, you know, you need to like tell, tell you guys, uh, what's up. Oh wait, I should make a, a chest. Um, but today was a pretty good day. Work was fairly boring. It was uh, very, very slow. So, you know, you can't really do too much. Um, yes. So we need to make quite a bit of sticks. Is this how? No, that's fence gates. Uh, let's do that. Yes. So I think we're going to have something like this. So we kind of just line that up um maybe we put like cobblestone around here mix in some of this uh mossy cobble i think something like that yeah that it looks like it would work pretty good so we'll do that a little bit of decoration you know um and then we can just lead this all the way down nothing too fancy and i have severely underestimated how much wood i would actually need for this hopefully we have enough 
I don't really want to chop down more trees. That should hopefully be enough. 30, maybe. Okay, that was enough. All right. Well, I made three, three too many. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead, build this up a little bit. Nothing too crazy fancy. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So now that we've gotten the around part or the uh, the fence part done, um, gotta gotta work on the inside. So I'm hmm. I'm debating. So I think we wanna we wanna put it like an easy target right here, right? Yeah. So we can do something like that. And then all we gotta do we so we have two more target blocks. Uh I don't know. Maybe we do something like that, like a little bit further back. And then we could just we wanna make sure that we we can actually hit these. <laughs> so maybe we do something like like, I don't even know. This one will probably be pretty hard to hit, right? Cause you gotta, you gotta make sure you angle it right. Yeah, so I think something like that. So we have two high ones and we have three lower ones. Um, so standing back, yeah, should be pretty hard to hit, right? Yeah, well, I didn't get a bullseye first time, but you know, I did something. Uh, so back here, we should, I kind of feel like we should have almost like a, a, a fence wall, right? To like catch the arrows in case if we miss, because if we miss, that's going to go like off or well, it's probably going to land like back there, but you know, I think it might be cool to have like a, a fence wall back there possibly. Uh, oh yeah. We also have these signs that I kind of want to use. So we're going to be lining up right here. I think having signs along here would be pretty awesome. Just a little bit of decoration, you know? Something like that. that looks... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, could put a little bit of lighting around here, right? Probably be smart. I don't, I don't want to get yelled at in the comments again. I'm sorry. Uh, probably save those and then just make sure that we actually align these because OCD type brain. Uh, okay. So something like that probably work. I guess I could go get like jack lanterns or something from our, uh, our cafe that we have over there that we haven't been to in a couple episodes. Oh, what would be pretty cool is if we set up a, um, Instead of a, a fence wall back there, maybe we set up like uh, a bamboo wall, maybe. I think that could be pretty cool. Oh, something. Oh, ooh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now. Pick up the rest of this bamboo, hopefully. Hopefully, I can actually pick this up. We really need something in Minecraft. Like, oh, wait, we have bundles, uh, like forehead. Can I actually craft those yet? Or do I need leather or something to, to make those? Can I make bundles? What does it require for a bundle? Rabbit hide. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Rabbit hide? Oh my god. Well, I mean, I guess we have a savanna over there. Do, do rabbits spawn in a savanna often? I know they spawn in deserts pretty often for some reason, but to, they should spawn in a savanna, right? I don't think I've seen one actually. Maybe I have. I don't know. I'm going crazy. This is just like one of the coolest areas we could have built in like this, the ocean right here, but there's a big ass river that goes that way and that way. Like, and then there's that cherry blossom biome up there. But, like, this part right here is insanely cool. Like, oh, oh, I just, I love this world so much. <laughs> uh, I'm also thinking about uh, updating to the snapshots. I, I typically don't play in the Minecraft snapshots just because they are very experimental and the game is getting a lot bigger. Uh, so each snapshot that they do... Uh, it's either 
minor improvements or whenever they add something, it's like super duper broken. And it kind of like it, it's more risk than a reward, uh, if that makes sense. So like it, there, there is a possibility that like your world could get corrupt or you could lose stuff in your world or your game could crash or you could get like soft locked out of your world by a random bug that's in the snapshot. So I kind of don't want that to happen. Um, but obviously I could just like back up my worlds, I guess. You know, it, it might just be safer to wait until 1.21 comes out. But at the same time, the trial chambers just look so cool. <laughs> I want to find one. I want a trial chamber so bad. It, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure they have it fully functioning, right? Like they're, they're just adding mobs maybe to it. Uh, seeing where it goes, seeing how players feel about it. But they they look really really nice, and I kind of wanna kind of wanna explore one. So maybe maybe we should update to uh, the one point twenty one snapshots as we go along here as they're coming out. You know, all I gotta do is just back up my world, make sure make sure I, I don't lose this lose this world. If I lose this world, I'm gonna be f very upset. Quite frankly, I'm going to be angry. I don't know who Frank is, but I'm going to be angry. All right, so I'm kind of waiting for the sun to go down because uh, I want to see what this looks like at night. And I'm very much hoping that uh, it goes pretty well. Okay, I kind of need to plant a bit more bamboo. I know we have that automatic bamboo farm, but to be honest, it's not like the quickest thing in the world. So kind of kind of need some a bit faster. Okay, well this is pretty well lit up like around where we actually need it. So maybe I didn't bring the the coal. I put the coal back in the chest. Shit. I was going to do some uh spawn proofing around here while it was nighttime. And there's already a skeleton right there. So shit. Well, that's all right. Uh let's go ahead I need to put this crafting table down. I'll put it. I'll put it. Yeah. Put it. Yeah. Uh. So bamboo blocks. I'm thinking about if we actually wanted a floor or not. Um. I think having a floor would be pretty cool in this. And I think since now that we have that bamboo farm, maybe we could do something like this. Uh, yeah, no, definitely not like that. So we could, I think I kind of want to keep it green because I do kind of like how the grass looks with this. Um, but maybe we just go through and we kind of like do the bamboo like that. Maybe we could also go underneath the fence. Fences, that'd be smart. Um, maybe we have it like go different way underneath the fences could be cool we do something like that can i eh, can't reach the crafting table shit so we just do something like that i think would be pretty cool just like all the way down um kind of make this area a little bit more unique and we're also using utilizing the new 1.20 blocks i haven't used bamboo in any of my builds since 1.20 came out. So there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah, that actually, that does not look bad. I'm actually kind of excited about that. <laughs> oh, hi. There's two of you. Oh, one of you has a grass block for the other one. Aw. I think he got, to, he got rejected. Oh, poor, poor feller. I'm genuinely excited about that, and I, I've not used bamboo blocks. I haven't found a use for, for bamboo blocks uh, in, since it came out, so so finding a use for it is actually pretty cool. Let's see, 33 bamboo. Wow, good job. Good job, bamboo farm. You're, you're doing work. I don't know how much work, but some work. Dang, chickens. You guys almost got me a full chest of eggs. Probably add another chest onto it, actually. There we go. Increased storage capacity. We're playing Egg, egg Inc. 
the mobile app game. Well, this is gonna take quite a while. So, uh, let's see, three, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, this is gonna take a really, really long time. And to be honest, I don't have that much time to like leave my computer on in AFK. Maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll leave it on overnight just to, just to AFK that bamboo, the bamboozled farm. <laughs> I think that's what I called it last episode. But yeah, maybe I'll leave it leave the world afk and hopefully i don't die that wouldn't be fun it, it's see uh, the, this this is like all of our bamboo supply so it's gonna take quite a while to um to get all the bamboo that we need for this entire stretch but yeah i think that's that's a, a pretty successful moment if you ask me so i'm gonna go ahead afk get some more bamboo that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit that like button down below. Thank you all so much for the support as always on these videos. It means a lot to me to know that you, you guys are enjoying these videos and wanting to come back and watch more. So I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.